The guys don't all, everybody take off and run away. And maybe some of the lower level coaches may survive and they would try to keep things going. It was a trying time when he left. It was, you know, a lot was going on down there. A lot of people made phone calls to my parents. Please don't let Teddy transfer out. His sophomore year was just, you know, even though they didn't have a winning record, the team showed promise of some great, great things to come. So a lot of them decided to stay, a few left. Everybody seems, you know, last year was about all the problems and all, but it seemed like we're set this year, really, you know, really want to go. We, we know we can win this year, and we just, we just want to play ball. In the search for a new coach, they were looking for a tough disciplinarian after the scandal to come in and have integrity and bring integrity to the program. And so Rick Tolley came in and brought his own team in, and he just kept Red and Mickey Jackson. Rick Tolley asked me to stay, and by that time I had married a, a girl from here, and um, I'd kind of settled in here. We hadn't finished our job here. They still intended to build a program here, a winning program at Marshall. It's not what it was last year, still not exactly what we want. Uh, we don't have enough depth, maybe size, but uh, they're a good, uh, hard-working young bunch of kids, and it will be better than last year. When the seventh season began, we soon realized that we were not going to be big-time winners unless we had enough players. Rick was a fearless guy, big man. He never touched a player, but you would be ran to death or you'd be beat to death. We were glad for a game day, because that's the only time we stopped beating on each other and we got a chance to at least beat on somebody else. If you were hurt, you played. I was in a sling, and I played every game till uh, a guy drove my ribs through my back cage, and... Uh, that's what took me out of the game. We won three games. But it was a very, very tough year, and lots of people wanted to quit. Well, it was like, can we survive until the season's over? At the end of that season, we at the East Carolina game, that was a very big game, and the reason there was a lot of hype coming to that game is because it was going to be it, it was going to be a flight we were going to get a chance to fly we thought that this flight would be good for everybody and we thought we could beat East Carolina and of course I was going to be going on the trip until the coach said hey he said uh, I think I need some room for some boosters and of course that's where I got knocked out it was a special uh, plan trip because we normally did not travel the, Fans did not travel by chartered plane. In fact, I didn't remember that we had ever done that. But it just didn't seem like very long, you know, for my husband to be going on a trip. And I'm sure I would have been right there, but I'd just given birth to our fourth child. That's why I didn't go. But so many of my friends did, including many, many neighbors. <laughs> 